Hey gamers, Minus10 here. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at Asus's update to Armory Crate as Asus just bumped Armory Crate from version 5 to 6.0 release. Specifically, Armory Crate is now on version 6.1.13 as of this video. Now, after several weeks of using the 6.0 version, Armory Crate is still a stubborn donkey and if you go down the route of Asus ROG gear, well, it's a cactus you're just going to have to hug. I'm in this bucket and I've learned to appreciate Armory Crate, so keep on watching to see what is new and improved. Before we get started, I do want to state that I am not affiliated with Asus in any manner whatsoever, and all the opinions in this video are mine and mine alone. So let's jump in and check out a few of the new Armory Crate changes. Although there are quite a few annoying aspects of Armory Crate, I've bought into the overall Asus ROG ecosystem and I've learned to live with what Armory Crate delivers. It's a clunky, fragmented beast that speaks to Asus's decentralized development organization, but this app's annoyances are offset by what gamers can do through Armory Crate. When it comes to speed, Armory Crate 6.0 Plus delivers the same slowness. Checking for updates takes a couple minutes every time a gamer clicks on an Armory Crate button. It just bogs down with that sliding box. That's a new change. Transitioning to the dashboard freezes your PC while Armory Crate downloads your rig's detail. It's the same when it comes to loading into different sections. When it comes to major differences, Armory Crate 6.0's look and feel is noticeably different with a fresher look. This is first noticed when loading into Armory Crate and gamers are greeted with the updated Asus ROG Splash logo. It's purely cosmetic, but it's a nice design change, in my opinion. The dashboard still displays all of your rig's pertinent information, but its layout and design is a very nice refresh. At the top left, your motherboard, CPU, RAM, and BIOS versions are clearly displayed with a link to your motherboard settings. Below the motherboard are your ASUS devices and gamers can quickly transition to these settings by clicking on one of them. Very nice. On the upper right to the bottom, there is now a logical flow to your system's data. Frequencies, temperatures, usages, and voltages are quickly accessed. If you're gaming and need a quick readout on how your rig's performing, this is better than IQ's dashboard as it's more efficiently laid out. Fan mode is also included on the Armory Crate dashboard, but I don't use this feature as I'm using Corsair cooling. The next big change is how devices are displayed. In the 5.0 version, gamers' devices were just a list by the devices next to the side label. Gamers' devices are now graphical visuals and clearly laid out at the center of the app. It's just more logical. As for the menus under each device, well, these are basically the same as the past versions. OraSync is mostly the same from my recollection. However, there is a clear reddish banner that flags when devices are also compatible with Windows Dynamic Lighting. A clear callout that Windows Dynamic Lighting is still a fragmented messy jumble. Scenario profiles and macros still have the same functionality, but a slightly different user interface to make it easier on gamers to customize. Scenario profiles is a really useful feature if you are steeped in Asus ROG gear and play a variety of games. From scenarios, gamers can set up a FPS profile, an MMO profile, and a productivity profile to adjust their mouse, keyboard, and lighting settings. As for macros, well, I don't use these as most devs consider macros as cheating. So gamers, beware if you use macros for games. I don't use the fan expert feature as my rig is kitted out with a Corsair AIO and fans. I've heard mixed reviews on fan expert, but if you have any views, do post them down below. The tools feature is headed to the dustbin and it will be replaced by the Asus drive hub. I've used the Asus driver hub, but don't just select all apps to update as there is a ton of bloatware on this website. Make sure you go through and read what Asus recommends because in between your motherboard Bluetooth driver update, 
which is pretty important, there are endless needless apps. Content and promotion are bloatware features, but in Armory Crate 6.0, gamers can delete these sections from the feature library. That said, let's just go ahead and uninstall what we can. Thanks, Asus. By and large, Armory Crate setting and user center are mostly the same. Checking for updates under the settings tab is still painfully slow, and installing any updates is equally a time burden. In fact, just updating to the Armory Crate 6.0 Plus app is a big time suck. If you ever must uninstall and reinstall Armory Crate, just know it is a major undertaking. So to wrap this all up, there are other graphical changes, but what I just reviewed are the major ones. Down in the comment sections, please do post one favorite and one dislike Armory Crate feature. I'm curious about what the community thinks. Again, Armory Crate is a stubborn donkey, but if you embrace the Asus ROG ecosystem, there's no way around it. Over the years, I've really learned to appreciate what Armory Crate offers through a centralized app. I've had my trials and tribulations with the app, but I made my peace with Armory Crate years ago. In 2025, Asus ROG gear is still leading the way and gamers just need to send Asus feedback and roll along with it. Unfortunately, the other gaming gear companies are still lagging when it comes to an all-inclusive app. Thanks for watching.